Potential difference in a uniform electric field. We have a uniform electric field that is pointing down. A positive charge Q is moved from point A to point B that is in the direction of the electric field. You can see it's moved by a distance D and if I have to take a path integral here. This is my ds, the incremental change in the position. What is the potential difference delta v from a to b? Potential at b minus potential at a. Okay, so delta v from a to b, potential at b minus potential at a, or we also call this vba, potential of b with respect to a, is minus the integral from point A to point B, electric field dot ds. So this is our path integral. Now I look at this path, electric field, and if I go directly from A to B, the path uh, incremental change in position vector ds is basically parallel to the electric field, so it's E ds, and the electric field is uniform, so I have cosine zero, which is one, so the uniform electric field is a constant magnitude, it comes out of the integral, integral from A to B ds, that is basically uh, the total uh, distance between A and B, so that is D. So we find that this Path, the voltage difference between A and B is minus ED. So what does that tell me? VB minus VA is minus ED, which means VB minus VA is negative. So potential at point B is less than potential at point A. So I observe that the electric field lines always point in the direction of decreasing potential. Potential at A is greater than potential at B and electric fields point downwards. <clears throat> if we put a positive test charge Q0 and move it from A to point B, what would be the change in the potential energy? Well, we multiply the charge with the potential difference, delta V A, A to B, so the potential energy change would be minus Q0 ED. In a system with a positive charge and a uniform electric field, moving the charge in the direction of the field causes a decrease in the electric potential energy. So if I move a positive charge in the direction of the electric field, going from a higher potential to a lower potential, I will see that the um, potential energy will decrease. Okay. A test charge Q0 is put at, at, uh, 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 on point A at rest and released. So if I put it uh, at point A and release it, there is no external force being applied. What will happen to this positive charge? Well, since the electric field lines point downward, there is a positive charge distribution somewhere here, negative charge distribution somewhere here. So this charge will be attracted by this negative charge distribution, so it will accelerate downward towards point B. The change in the mechanical energy, delta K plus delta U, will be zero. Why? Because it's under the influence of the electric force, which is conservative. So I don't have any uh, non-conservative forces or dissipative forces. Therefore, there will be no change in the mechanical energy. The system energy will be conserved. The change in the kinetic energy will be 1 half mv final square minus 1 half mv initial square. So at this point, I said it is at rest, therefore the initial kinetic energy is zero. The change in potential energy, remember, is going to be equal to minus Q0 ED. So uh, the kinetic energy, initial kinetic energy will decrease. I will find that final kinetic energy, one half mv final square, should be equal to Q0 ed. Okay, so the work done by the internal force, because this is released at this point and it's under the influence of an internal force due to the electric field, will be equal to minus the change in potential energy, so that will be equal to Q0 ED. So work done by the internal force is Q0 ED. So work done by the field is positive Q0 ED. And that is basically converted into kinetic energy of the charge. Uh, the 
electrical force F is minus gradient of the potential energy. So this is basically a manifestation of the work potential energy theorem. The work done by this uh, force will be equal to minus the change in potential energy. Now, if uh, I have uh, uh, an angle between the uniform electric field and the displacement vector, what will happen? Now, first of all, the electric field lines are uh, pointing from left to right. So this is telling me that because B is farther down in the electric field compared to point A, B is at a lower potential compared to point A. And B and C uh, are at the same electric potential. Why? Because uh, in terms of the electric field lines, they are at the same uh, point. At, uh, so, but C is at a distance D from point A. So, what is the uh, change in the potential going from A to B? It's minus the integral A to B E dot dS minus electric field dot product with dS. So, it's going to be equal to minus E dot S vector, which is our displacement vector from point A to point B. The change in potential energy for a test charge that is placed at point A and move to point will B will be Q0 times delta V that is minus Q0 E dot S. This is for the case of uniform electric field. And now if I have the displacement S vector uh, perpendicular to the electric field vector, so that's basically moving from point B to point C. What would happen moving from point B to point C? The S vector would be perpendicular to the electric field and therefore the dot product would give me zero. Potential difference is zero. The potential energy at point B and point C will be the same. So points B and C are at the same potential. So if I consider all points perpendicular to the electric field, I will see that they are all at the same potential and such surfaces are called equipotential surfaces. That's, that means the potential at these points are equal. Okay, so to summarize, we talked about the potential difference in a uniform electric field. Uh, once again, we calculate the potential difference between two points uh, as minus the initial point to final point, uh, the path integral uh, E dot ds. And if I move along the electric field, E dot ds is basically E ds, and uh, the integral from A to B ds is going to give me minus E d. Because this integral is independent of the path taken, I can take the direct path from point A to point B. And I find that the electric field lines always point in the direction of decreasing potential. And it, how do I calculate the change in potential energy that is uh, for a test charge put at point A and moved to point B? It is Q0 multiplied by the potential difference. So you can see that the potential energy of the system decreases if this is a positive charge that is moving from point A to point B in the direction of the electric field or in the direction of decreasing potential. And uh, if I don't move it, but I basically release it uh, at point A, then it's going to move under the influence of the internal force, which is the, the force due to the electric field, that is Q0 times E. And this will cause no change in the mechanical energy of the system because the only force it's under the influence of is electrical force, which is conservative. So uh, there will be an increase in the kinetic energy as it moves down the electric field. And the work done by the internal force is minus the change in potential energy. It, it will be equal to Q0 ED because the electrical force is conservative and work potential energy theorem applies. On the other hand, if I have an angle between the uniform electric field and the uh, displacement vector S, then uh, the generalized version of this potential difference will be minus E dot S and the potential energy change will be minus Q0 E dot S, where S is the displacement vector for the direct path from point A to point B. However, if I move from point B to point C, it's perpendicular to the electric field, the dot product will give me zero. So that tells me that points B and C are at the same potential. They are actually on equipotential surface where the potential at these points on the surface are at the same potential.